we now know what our weight is, whether it's trending down, trending up, or staying the same. So if it's trending up or staying the same, we know we need to intervene. If we're not losing weight or potentially even gaining weight, that's when we need to count calories. So how do we count calories? Every single piece of food that you eat needs to be weighed and recorded. That's quite extreme. Whether you do it in the most fastidious way or not, you will need to get a gram scale so that you can measure your food. If you're cooking a stew or a large meal with many different ingredients all combined together, you will need to measure every single ingredient, the exact amount that you added in. And then you will need to measure the total weight of the resultant meal. Add together the calories of all of the ingredients and divide it by the weight of the final meal. And then you have a calorie per gram number. Then, however much of that meal you eat, you now know how many calories you consumed given the grams of that meal that you ate. This way will also require you to, for instance, bring a gram scale to a restaurant. And overall, be quite a strange fellow.